when you talk about finding the arc length, we're trying to find out you know, the length of that curve, okay, if we were to straighten this arc out, right, uh, on a circle, okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a proportion. We're gonna take theta, which is the central angle here, divided by 360, equals the arc length, okay, which is this length here, divided by the entire circumference. So just to help you understand a little bit uh, deeper, what we're doing is we're making a proportion because we have the fraction, okay, divided by the whole. See, theta is this angle, that's the fraction of the whole circle divided by 360, that's the, you know, the entire uh, number of degrees of the circle, equals the arc length, which is, which is the fraction, okay, of the entire circumference. So we're doing like the part over the whole equals the part over the whole, right? And then we can go ahead and solve for what's missing. So I'll show you what I mean in this example. Let's take a look. So we're trying to find the length of this arc right here, x, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a proportion. We're gonna say 60 degrees, okay, is to 360 degrees, okay? So this angle is to the entire, you know, circle, 360 degrees, as the arc length, x, is to the entire circumference, the distance all the way around, and the circumference, the formula is two pi r, so that's two pi times the radius three. So this can reduce down to one sixth, because 60 goes into 366 times, and this is gonna simplify to six pi. Now, you can cross multiply, cross the equal signs, so we get 6x equals 6 pi, and if we divide by 6, you can see that x equals pi inches, and that's the length of that arc. So 